Quite an impressive graveyard they've got here. When I die, I don't want to be stuffed into one of these sad little plots of dirt. I want my ashes to be spread upon the open forest, away from damn society. How do you feel about surprises? <laughs> if I tell you, it won't be a surprise. Come on, get your nose out of that map and just follow me. Ah, oh, damn, how'd you guess? No, no, seriously, come on. It's better than a tree stump. It better not be his penis. Well, here we are. It's no throw to the world, but it's mine. Well, partly mine. Long time ago. My first home in Skyrim. It's where I found Karnweir as a cub. I haven't been here for... Damn. It always feels longer than it actually is. I've never brought anyone here before. Yeah. Yeah, it does. This tower is still standing because of a man I once knew. He's... gone now. Anyway. I made the first good decision of my life here. I wanted to make you a part of it. <laughs> I'm still not being clear, am I? You're here because... Trust doesn't come easy for me. To me... This is the most important place in Skyrim. I wanted you to know. <laughs> ah, for... Really? The bishop is standing right here. Just took a chance and told you he trusts you. Are you willing to do the same? <laughs> to trust me? Then let me give you more reasons, too. Princess, a word, if you please. I think that was supposed to be a kiss. Now he's going to try to fuck us again. You don't want to spend the night alone, do you? You only just noticed? Huh. <laughs> if I'd known you'd react like this, I would have done it sooner. <clears throat> yeah, so... I'm not exactly a romance kind of guy. Come on, let's get back out there. Dragons aren't gonna kill themselves. You, of course. What else would I want? Now you're talking my language, ladyship. Come here. Let me help you out with that armor of yours. Oh, I have a better idea. I'll use my knife and cut it open. Fast and simple. Oh my god, please no. And I'm a hell of a lot serious. What, do you want me to sing you a silly love ballad? If you hadn't noticed, I'm not really that kind of guy. I'm flattered, but no. I'm a man of action, princess. Please don't have sex, please don't have sex. He kisses with his eyes open. Creepy. Am I stirring something inside of you, princess? Desire? Passion? I'll gladly stir it some more till you give in to it. Danger zone. Danger zone. I'm not in the mood. I have a headache. Ah. Poor Bishop. Someone you'd rather not meet. His name's Thorn. 
And he's nothing but a vicious son of a bitch that needs to be put down like the rabbit dog he is. Let's just say he'll take you by force, if he can. Every time I hear his name mentioned, it comes with another sad story of a wench being raped. Look, I was a bandit too, but he is something else. I never liked him. We were pretty much on opposite sides. In fact, he still wants me dead. Joke as you like, but he's a raping son of a bitch. He's not just rough, ladyship, he's sick. The things he'd do to you if he got his hands on you. Jesus fucking no, Christ. That won't happen. He'll die before he gets the chance. I marked his hovel on your map. Whether we avoid it or hunt him down is up to you. But I won't lie that I'd like to see his head rolling. Let's kill this fucker. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Go away. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I don't want it. Let's kill these fools. Did you fucking shoot me? Can't go in there. Naked body. Thank you. Thank you. I won't tell anyone what happened here. I swear it. Well, well. Look who decided to show his face, boys. It seems you come bearing a gift. A peace offering, perhaps? Hmm. She is quite the sight. I can't wait to tear those clothes off her tempting body. I can't wait to kill you. A friend? Oh no, my little mouse. Far from it, in fact. Got it all wrong, Thorn. She's not a mouse. I'd say she's much more than that. Isn't she? She is a woman, Bishop. Women are soft and delicate. That's the purpose they serve. This little mouse here will serve hers on my furs tonight, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> Gross. I see your powers of observation have not changed, Thor. Still can't see past your own image, can you? <laughs> well, it was my own image that defeated you, was it not? You claim to be of the best out there. But truth is, you're a pathetic, scared little rodent. Not unlike your company here. Anyone can see that. Anyone as vain as you. These fuckers are gonna die tonight. <laughs> that, from the man that cares for no one but himself. Very well. Let's take a closer look to our little mouse here. Oh. Oh. Oh, what have we here? <laughs> the almighty dragon. Don't touch born. me. Now this, this is certainly a peace offering, Bishop. The stories of how I conquered the dragonborn will be told for ages to come. Excuse then, you. Once I am finally done with her, I will bring her in and claim the price on her head. Gold will have me, us, set for life. Is that so? It is. I should thank you for presenting her to me. And what do I get for this? <laughs> oh no, if you look oh, in the back, they killed poor perhaps wolves. I will let you have some fun with her as well. After me and my boys are done, of course. You wish, Thor. Would that be wise, I wonder? You do remember what happened the last time we spoke. You don't want to fight me, Thorn. It's been years. Time to since die I more Herficker. We fought to a draw that time, but I've learned a lot since then. On the other hand, you've probably stayed hidden in the forest all these years, being the brave warrior you are, fighting bunny rabbits and squirrels. Funny you should mock me, Bishop. You know perfectly well how easy it would be for me to simply skin you alive. With your own hunting knife, no less. 
Let's see, six to two. Yeah, I like those odds. I should warn you, though, if we are doing it, I'm going to carve my name into that face of yours. That ought to tear the heart right out of you, huh? Go ahead and try it. <laughs> so if you are welcoming death today, the Dragonborn and I will accommodate you. Kill Bishop if you must. I want the Dragonborn alive. Oh, the fun we will have together. <laughs> I am the girl. I'm getting out of here. Ah, ah, what a piece of her you're gonna have to get through me! Ah, that felt good. Dead. Yes, if you can find the time between your dates with dragons and Daedra. Oh, something's always on my mind. Usually involving you naked anytime, anywhere. What? You asked. All right, enough distractions. We both know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm done playing your little word games. Serious as the dead, princess. <laughs> I see something I want. Someone. And that someone happens to be you. No. Does it matter? We haven't exactly hidden how we feel. Don't play coy with me, we're past that. But first... We can kiss, but we ain't having sex on Twitch. That son of a bitch got what he deserved. Had it coming for a long time. Hey, what's with that look? You all right? Yeah, about that. I was buying us time, woman. Playing along to lower his guard. We were outnumbered, if you hadn't noticed. I needed to think of something to keep us both from being killed. What, you really have so little faith in me that you think I'd do something like that? Uh, look, I would never just hand you over to someone like that. Or anyone, for that matter. I might be a lot of things, ladyship, but even I have standards. In case you haven't noticed, I didn't betray you. You clearly don't know me at all if you honestly believe I would let anything happen to someone as important to me as you. I'm far from the guy you think I am. Ah, <sighs> look, just forget I even said anything. Let's find a tavern. I need a drink. Psst. A new... That one's a Nord. Looks like our hunt's at an end already. So what if he isn't Lon? So, now, as well as being late, we're fraternizing with a Nordic legend. Great! Top marks, Chief Kale. An intriguing woman approaches me at the Goddess of Beauty Shrine. Without her weapon drawn. Do you by chance have a death wish? Has your life treated you so poorly that you would make your friend watch as we tear you apart? Or perhaps this is a clever trap, capitalizing on my weakness for attractive women to put me in a false sense of security. If so, I approve. Keep talking to him. 
I have a talent for getting a dagger up any disrespectful asses the moment they show themselves. Is that so? You know, if I was trying to ensnare someone, that is exactly what I would say. I take it you want to take me alive. Kale is hot. Forgive my pertinence, but I never thought to meet someone so open-minded in Skyrim. Wait, you're not just a curious traveler, are you? Yeah, I've dealt with my fair share of racism in Skyrim, I feel you. Ah, uh, your eyes captivated me with their fire, but now it makes sense. So, Skyrim's savior has with Admirable, considering the weight on your shoulders. I have heard of your beauty, but the fact that you are speaking to me also shows your compassion. If I had known, I would have introduced Thy big brother love sooner. you. I am K.L., but like you, I am known by other names. The Raven of the Reach, Chieftain of the Rudahan tribe. To say that speaking the truth is a kindness only shows the folly of the world we live in. But I am glad to see its savior is not affected by it. The strength you embody is a force that will not be reckoned with on the side of your enemy. Have you chosen which armies you ally yourself with? The next installment of this mod you get to romance this guy. A side I would like to be on, as would we all. But being tied to the fate of the world comes with a choice. Whether you like it or not. There is another choice. Freedom. Lords claim to fight for it, but they will not roll over like dogs when they get what they want. My people are not what they have led you to believe. Mm -hmm. You share the same ancestors that form your soul. Help us become the rulers we once were. A bold decision for a Nordic legend. I do not think your companion would share those views. Your support is greatly appreciated. But alas, my village is plagued by the attacks of another, and I would not wish to endanger it by luring your enemies as well as mine. Before you go, take this. Another sandwich you thought could be more. It seems it was forsaken here. I doubt you need its power, but it's as unique as you. Do I go too far? Your companion looks like he will grow me to death if I compliment you once more. Be wary, Dragon Boy. Jealousy is a vulgar trait. Jealous? Of you? Now that's funny. I haven't given two shits since you started talking, Forsworn. Alright, that's it. Who cares if she's the Dragonborn, Kale? We'd be doing her a favor if we get rid of this moron. Oh, please try it. I'd love nothing better right now than to get rid of his whore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Robin is his sister. Speak about her like that, and we'll all cut out your eyes. Sister? That's his sister? I've seen tavern wenches wearing more than what she... No, what all of you combined have on. You know... One of my mods must oh, have God. changed their original armor. As for you, Ranger, keep your eyes off my sister. I will hunt you down and remove them from your skull. Pfft. Your sister is the furthest thing from my mind, and I have the Dragonborn in my sights. As for hunting me down, don't. It'll be the first and last mistake you'll ever make about me. It was a mistake speaking to you at all. And we've made the mistake of even listening. Let me solve that by leaving. Don't think of following us, Forsworn. When you kill another dragon, stick this into it. Belonged to a friend of mine who got eaten. Was gonna do it myself, but... Eh. You have better odds. Oh, thank you. You really think that he's interested in you? You heard me. The Forsworn. If you really think that man is interested in you, then I have clearly misjudged your intelligence. Well then, if you're so smart, what do you think he wants? 
to lure you in. Clearly you're blinded with infatuation. No, you don't. He's forsworn. You think that if you weren't the Dragonborn that he would just spare you from some bloody ritual? You don't kid yourself. He knew what he was doing, and you took the bait. He wants the Dragonborn, not you. A woman with the soul of a dragon would make for a thrilling hunt, don't you think? Doesn't matter who that woman is. You'd do best to remember that the next time he's wielding that honey-coated dagger of a tongue. Hmm, not bad at all for a start. I say we do that again and finish what I started. What, take it slow? <laughs> we can do it however you want, as many times as you want. All it takes is one more. <clears throat> I wouldn't want anyone else to see you exposed before I have a chance to. Let's find a spot. Then I can show you exactly what you do to me. Patience is just one of a hunter's many virtues. And you may need time to prepare yourself to take on this big task. 